is something really out there. Three more U.S. senators received a classified briefing about UFOs at the Pentagon, or in current lingo, unidentified aerial phenomena. You may have heard that pilots and other military personnel have been reporting these, these kinds of sightings for years. A couple weeks ago, the Department of Defense even released footage shot by a Navy Super Hornet pilot. But you may not have known that back in 2007, Congress directed the Pentagon to set up uh, a $22 million search for the truth. And Tom Foreman is with me more on the uh, Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program. Um, so, Tom, talk to me about the, the senators getting the classified briefings on uh, UFOs. Yeah, well, here's the interesting thing. It's easy to laugh at this, easy to think it's silly or it's just a bunch of, uh, of uh, hokum out there. But... Senator Mark Warner, who is the vice chair of the Intelligence Committee, said, look, I think it's important. He told us just this afternoon, I think it's important that the military is taking this more seriously now than they did in the past. So what are they taking seriously? Those videos you were talking about relate to a couple of different sightings we're talking about. In 2004, there was one called the Tic Tac sighting. They called it that because they said it looked like a Tic Tac flying out there very close to the water on the West Coast. And then more recently, there were some out on the East Coast that people were talking about, 2014, 2015, where these pilots were describing seeing these things up to 30,000 feet in the air, flying at extraordinary speeds, hypersonic, well over the speed of sound, changing direction in the most uh, astonishing ways, and seemingly defying the laws of physics. Listen to what one of these pilots had to say. No distinct wings, no distinct tail, no distinct exhaust. It seemed like they were aware of our presence because they would actively move around us. So that's what has everyone excited here. These reports, the release of these videos, and you mentioned the program. That was originally started by Senator Harry Reid because they said, look, we just need to know what's going on. It only lasted about five years. It's been shut down for a number of years. And they said they really didn't find anything. But Brooke, you know, the obvious question here is, is there something out there? Not necessarily extraterrestrial, but is there something else? Some sure. kind of a drone, some sure. kind of secret uh, technology, something that maybe we control, maybe we don't. So, yeah, um, maybe they'll get to the to the bottom of that. I know that in April, the Navy actually issued guidelines for pilots to report any sightings of uh, the, the unidentified aerial phenomena. Uh, are you surprised this kind of information is now getting out to the to the public? Well, I, I think it's been a long time in coming, Brooke. I mean, this is the sort of thing back early in my reporting career, some 30, 40 years ago, you would hear about. But at the time, it was just sort of released as ah, a bunch of crazy conspiracy theorists with a bunch of ideas out there and mm -hmm. people taking pictures of a, an odd shaped cloud in the sky. I'm not really surprised that we're finally getting to the point of looking at this more carefully. And particularly, Brooke, when you think about the technology we're dealing with today, we're dealing with technology that we really haven't seen before. Remember, when the first stealth fighters came out, there had been pictures of these things taken from very far by civilians saying there's some kind of strange aircraft out here that we've mm -hmm. never seen before. Eventually, we found out what it was, but initially mm -hmm. it was just a mystery. So I think for a lot of people who aren't looking for space aliens, this is still very interesting because they're saying, is sure. it something, even if it's not space aliens, is it something that will make a difference in the future? And again, is it something that the U.S. is controlling or is this some new technology that somebody else has developed? What, 30 seconds, Tom, what, what has President Trump said about this? Uh, you've got to listen to what President Trump said about it. It's really interesting. ABC asked him about it. Listen to his comment. Well, I think my great, our great pilots would know. Uh, and some of them really see things that are a little bit different than in the past. So we're going to see, but we'll watch it. You'll be the first to know. So the top levels of government, they're talking about it, Brooke. No answers yet, but a lot of questions.